Taylor and I have just realized we've got no stand on our bikes, so we can't leave them sit up on their own. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. So, as you can see, Taylor's here. Hi! <laughs> and I'm back in the US. I got in a few days ago. We're in Seattle, Washington. And actually, in a matter of probably an hour or two, we're starting our bike tour. So if you guys don't already know, we're going to be cycling from here, Seattle, Washington, all the way down the west coast, down to San Diego. And it's gonna be about 60 days. And most of those are gonna be riding. We'll probably have about two weeks off in between. And you guys are gonna join us for the tour. So we hope you enjoy it. We're just gonna get some lunch, sort out our bikes, and hit the road. Okay guys, we're about ready to go. We're a bit frantic. We've got to catch a ferry from Seattle in the next few hours. So, Taylor's bike's packed up. Got the Ortleb panniers. Mine's packed up. Got the Ortlebs. Got panniers this time. We're just cleaning out the van because we're letting a friend take it down to San Diego for us. Then we're on the road. Taylor, we good? Yeah, we're good. What's up guys? So, I'm not too sure how the footage is seeing right now. We're in a bit of a rush. We've got about half an hour to make our ferry. But I thought I'd just whack it on and give you a quick update. So yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, we're in Seattle. Uh, we just come over the Fairbank Bridge, I think it is. Taylor's ahead of me just now. Pretty soon we'll be going into downtown. And I'll try and whack it on and get a little bit of footage of that. Everything's moving pretty fast right now. Guys, we're kind of running late here, but that's the Space Needle up there. We've got a ferry to catch, so we can't go check it out closer, but it's still pretty cool. So Taylor and I have just realized we've got no stand on our bikes, so we can't leave them sit up on their own. So she's gonna hold them both while I film. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to the ferry. It's 5.25, so it's running late anyway. So that's good. I would have really liked to spend a bit more time here in Seattle. It's actually a really cool city. Definitely underrated. But anyway, we got a blow, so. We just came back in the shade. It's a way better view of the city as well. Just got the new Samsung S10 on, uh, like the wide lens mode. Pretty epic way to leave Seattle. About half an hour to get to Bremerton now. So what we're looking at right here is Mount Rainier to the south and it's just a gorgeous little bay area. We've got Seattle to our left and some beautiful islands to our right. Okay, so Taylor and I just had our bikes hooked up in the ship here, up on the railing. Now we're in Bremerton. We'll get going. Guys, check out the ship here. I think it's a destroyer is what someone told us. How you doing Taylor? so far. We've got about an hour, is it, to Belfair? Yeah, having fun so far. Alright, so we just got off Highway 3 and it was a pretty interesting start for our tour. Taylor has hardly experienced cycling, let alone a freeway. It was pretty busy. But now we're on the old highway and it's nice and quiet. But the downside is we don't have a verge. So there is that. What's up guys? So I was just saying to Taylor, I'm still getting the hang of using this phone to film but hopefully this is a pretty decent angle. You can see all the trees that we're coming through right now. They're just gorgeous. It's actually a really nice spot. Hey Taylor, you like it? I love it. She loves it. Yeah, so I just made another little adjustment. Camera's not quite right, but it'll be good for the rest of the day anyway, and we can try and get it a bit better tomorrow. Just coming through some forest here. Really pretty. Looks like an old railway bridge up ahead of us. Shouldn't be too long till the first state park. Taylor's still getting a bit of confidence on the hills, so we're not going too fast at the moment. So we're enjoying a bit of descending now. Nice little break from the climb um, before. Making our way into Belfair. Taylor's looking pretty good on the bike. Got her light on. Doesn't get dark till about 10 o'clock, which is lucky because time is ticking on now. It's uh, probably around 8. You guys are about to see something classic country. The American flag. Come election year, they'll all have a Trump or you know like a Republican flag, American flag. 
never seen it the other way around. Right, so we made it to the Belfast State Park. Uh, just in time, there was still a guy here who helped us check in. So, the US usually has hiker-biker campsites, at least on the west coast. So it's 12 bucks for the two of us for a campsite for one night. And yeah, it's a hiker-biker site, HB1. It's the Belfast State Park, Taylor's just putting the money in the envelope, then we're going to deposit it over there. Just trying to work out the shower tokens, and we'll head over to the campsite. Right, so it's getting a bit dark, but we just got to our spot. This is the Hiker Biker 2. There's already someone over in number one there. So Taylor's gonna go check out the bathroom, which is actually right there. And I'm gonna set up the tent. Hopefully we can get it set up before it's completely dark. What do you reckon, Taylor? Yay, I'm loving it. It's so gorgeous so far. I'm excited for dinner. All right, so check it out. We're just getting stuck into some pasta Taylor cooked up. It's gluten-free, mm -hmm. isn't it, Taylor? Um, actually not this one, but oh. we had been eating gluten-free for the past couple of days. Yeah. It's a whole box that we put in, about 500 grams. Let's do it. Sounds good. So it's kind of a funny story with this pot. If you'll notice, it's actually massive. About <laughs> four and a half liters, isn't it? Yeah, it's 4.7 liters. So what had happened is Matt already had a camping pot, but it was too small for the two of us. So I went to REI to go get a bigger pot. They didn't have any three point anything liter pots, so I just got a 4.7 liter pot. It's literally all they had, huh? Yeah, and it's massive, so it was either this or a regular cooking pot, which is heavy, so we just went with a huge one, but it works. Yeah, it works. It's lightweight. All right, guys, so that's the first day of our West Coast bike tour done. It's going to be a pretty epic adventure to get all the way down there i'll have to check for you guys but i think it's like 2000 miles so work that out it's basically a shit ton taylor i don't know how she's gonna go we're gonna find out together really she has not done a lot of cycling i mean for me it's gonna be no problem as long as i eat enough and uh, she's already in bed so she's pretty tuckered out i'm gonna go jump in with her and yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, make sure you subscribe so you get to see the next ones. We'll check the state park out a little bit in the morning and we'll try and head off maybe like mid-morning or something like that to the next state park. So make sure you tune in for that.